All right, let's take a look at this new Chrome extension that allows you to download as well as search through the transcripts of VODs. So this is the button here. So when you load a YouTube channel, you'll see this button come up and you'll want to go to the video section and click this button. Now, if you're wanting to scroll through and grab all these videos, you can just initiate program. If you already have your links ready to go that you want to extract transcripts from, you can drop them in here. Or if you've already downloaded the transcripts, you can choose those files and just upload them to search through. Uh, so first let's do that, right? So I'm gonna upload, we'll go through about a gig and a half of Destiny VOD, so it'll take a second. This is frozen up at the moment. But you'll just wanna let that sit for a second. And when this button is gone, or when it changes, that's when everything is loaded up. All right, so now we've loaded up uh, almost 2,300 transcripts here. And now we can search for something. So let's say we wanted to search for any time he's mentioned Hassan, or you have to keep in mind the way that it might be spelled in the transcripts, right? So we're gonna search for Hassan or Hassan. And then here we go. We see all of the different times that this individual was mentioned, um, almost 1,500 times in the past however many years or months of VODs that we downloaded. This, I believe, is going back to the beginning of time. Uh, one thing to note, too, is the automatic transcripts in YouTube um, will remove things that it believes are swear words and convert those to these brackets with underscores. So if you're searching for uh, swear words, you could just search for two underscores and that would identify them. All right. So let's refresh this page again and download these transcripts. So again, make sure you're on the videos tab and you can initiate program and it's going to scroll through all of these, grab those links and then start downloading the transcripts. So it'll take some time. Depends on how many videos there are. Could take several hours if there's a lot of videos. This one I think would probably take about 30 minutes. So it's going to download, go through all those. It will download multiple JSON files and those are the files that you can then re-upload. Um, you know, at a later date if you wanted to look at them. It'll download multiple if there's a lot of videos. Uh, so the maximum size that it will download is around 300 megabytes and that's just to ensure that it doesn't exceed the limitations of the browser and when it completes it'll then bring up to where you can search through those right here uh, so it'll add the button back uh, to search through those transcripts uh, keep in mind this date so this is the default that it sets at uh, you can change that date so if you only wanted to look through the last week or month or whatever you could do that it's not going to be perfect uh, so it'll it's basically going off the text strings that are there in the videos. And so if it says uh, yesterday, then that's going to search within the past 24 hours. If it says a week ago, then except it takes it from the week on, on forward. So it's not perfect, but it'll get you close anyway. The search parameters you can search through. So the it takes or statements. This uh, tilde is an around operator. So it'll search for any word near another word. The default is 29 characters, so it would search for create near product um, in either direction. Now, if you wanted to search beyond that default character, you can just add a number value right next to the tilde. So you'd say like item near, and then you could say 236, and then whatever else, whatever your other words are, for example, and that will it'll grab that number out and convert the default to the specified num number there. Um, another thing to keep in mind is everything assumes a wildcard by default. So if you're searching for product, it's going to search for byproduct. It'll search for uh, production, etc. If you don't want it to do that, you can put in quotes and that will put a word boundary around that. And so it'll only find it if this is the start and end of that word. Uh, you could also only use one quote. So if you didn't care about what came before, but wanted to make sure it ended firmly there, you can just use that double quote as a word boundary and you don't have to put it at the front of it. Uh, let's see. One other thing is uh, your, a star. So that would convert to zero to 60 of any character. So if you wanted to search for like 
a word near another word, but you didn't, you wanted it to be in a certain order, you could put word uh, near other other words, and it would search for that within 60 characters. Um, and if you wanted multiples, you could do it like that, and it'd search, you know, multiply that by 60 every time. Um, uh, white spaces are converted to zero to three characters of any kind. So if you have a white space, just keep that in mind, <laughs> I guess. Uh, if you really need that white space to exist, you would want to put a, you know, quotes around both words to ensure that there was that uh, word boundary against them. And let's see, I think you can technically get away with a pipe instead of an or, but I wouldn't mess around with it. And you might be able to get away with some regular expressions, but I'd probably avoid it. Um, you'll know when it crashes. So I, yeah, just be mindful, I guess. Uh, let's, I guess, take a look at one of the outputs. So we'll search. Um, all right, here. So this is what your output looks like uh, when you do the search and you can just click on and that gets you right to where that timestamp is. Uh, or if you want to export them, you can just scroll all the way down, download your matches and it will download them as a tab separated value and it will download them as a tab separated value, which you can then either open up in Excel or you can open in Google Sheets. Keep in mind that it's tab separated. So in Google Sheets, make sure that you select tab separated and then in Excel, you'd need to open your workbook and then go to uh, your file open. And then in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, you need to select all files, not ex all Excel files, but all files, and then find your TSV file and open that up. And then it'll start prompting you through the, uh, through the different things. And you need to s select tab separated, but you can search that for other videos. Um, just open it in Google Sheets and you'll have an easier time. Uh, all right, so it looks like the one of the transcripts files has downloaded and it's still going here. Yeah, sometimes these get in the way, so if so, you can kind of move them around here and, and then they should come to the foreground. The uh, gray areas where you can grab and move these around. All right, I guess we might want to take a look at what that spreadsheet actually looks like. So here's what one of those out puts looks like uh, there's one other column but i deleted it already uh, but yeah you get the kind of full dump here with the video title the text that matched as well as the start in that video the duration of that little segment that it identified on and the timestamp um, one thing uh, to keep in mind is if you're searching for a longer phrase that might go over the way the transcripts are chopped up so the way i go about identifying those as I merge everything together and then I search all the block of the entire transcript at once and then I get the starting index of where that first hit for that match and then bring that back to the forefront so if it's if you're searching for something using that custom near operator where you can specify the number of characters between them and you specified like within a thousand characters that's definitely going to go across multiple lines and so the initial one that comes back will just be this very short piece. And so you might not see the whole phrase there, but further down within the full log of the transcripts, that full phrase would have matched and it brought it back that way. So just something to keep in mind if you're wondering what's going on there. Okay, and you see here it finished downloading and we can run it on these transcripts. Um, it looks like it may not have, I need to, address that so these transcripts downloaded and i think it might have only grabbed the all right yeah let's test something real quick um i think there's a bug that i forgot to address before i published this so there's definitely more than 488 transcripts so let's dump these in here there's 802 so let's test something All right, we hit 448 matches on the word Lord, 856. All right, yeah, so, whoops. I'll address that with an update soon, but uh, for now, you'll just need to re-upload the transcripts that, you, that downloaded, which I guess is less than ideal, but hey, it's free software. What are you gonna do?
this is like just brand new build, so I'm sure it's gonna have bugs. If you run into any, uh, drop a comment on this video and what your issue was, and I'll get to it. Or if you have any, if you have any features you'd like to add. But yeah, that's it. If you like the extension, give it a review, like this video, and share it with your associates.